hey what's up guys it's me tato back again with recipes that make you want to cook on today's video we are making these gorgeous crispy better fried hake fillets stay tuned let's get started guys and as usual i will leave all the ingredients in the description box down below now i'm gonna go ahead and start off by seasoning my fillets with this fish spice you can use any fish spice you want or any fish blend spice that you can make of your own and i'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit you know spices just melt into the fish like wow so a little bit just goes a long way because we're still going to season our flour so i want to make sure that not only the coating is seasoned but the fish as well all right once that is done i'm gonna put it aside and in my bowl i have two cups of flour and i'm gonna add my fish spice i'm also gonna add some paprika as well and some garlic powder or crushed garlic in my instance it's just garlic powder okay because it's ground excuse me guys i'm coming up with a little bit of flu and it's the pits okay so you want to make sure that your flour is really, really, really seasoned because, honey, I cannot stand like bland coatings. It's either on chicken, on fish, or anything that is fried. The inside throughout the out, it has to be sufficiently seasoned. So I'm just going to mix that through. You can, I'm making this better and... I didn't really measure because I thought I had a lot of fish but it turns out I didn't have a lot of fish so we can just eyeball it then for my water to make the batter or liquid I'm going to add 500 mils of lemonade you can use beer I didn't want to use alcohol I just wanted to use something um, with acid so I opted for lemonade you can use um, it was in my mind now I forgot you can use beer yes you can also try to use something I said it's soda water yes that is what I was thinking about you can use soda water so what you're going for here is that you want a thick and runny bit at the same time because you want the better to stick to the fish and you want it to crisp up once you, it hits that oil so here I ended up using 500 ml of lemonade and a bit quarter cup or less of some water because I only bought 500 ml of um, the lemonade. So you can use one cup of flour and use add your seasonings and try adding the 250 ml of lemonade and then just add as you go and mix it through just until it becomes a really thick it's like a pancake batter that you're really looking for so you're just gonna mix it and keep adding your liquid until you have no lumps and it's looking so smooth and beautiful like this it's still thick but it's still ready and it's gonna coat perfectly on the fish now once you have that i'm gonna coat my fish and make sure to wiggle off the excess because you don't want a blanket my dad calls it a blanket kikubo on the fish if you buy fish from these stores and there's more coating than there is fish and you can actually see that the fish is raw in between so we don't want a blanket so make sure after you coat you um, shake off the excess and it's also important that your batter is thick but thin so that the coating does become does not become a blanket to your fish so Yes, now you want to fry until golden brown. Once the, the coating is golden brown, the fish is cooked inside. And these were really uh, small baby eggs. So the fillets were thin as well. So it didn't take time to cook. Fish also doesn't take a time to cook. I think maybe we f I fried this. I almost said we flew. Oh my God. <laughs> so I think I fried this on like 
four to five minutes and you want to put it on a wire rack so that you maintain the crispness if you put it on a paper or tissue paper it's going to become soggy and not crispy so this is best served hot and crispy honey i hope you enjoy you can make your own tartar sauce please try it let me know like and i will see you on the next one